Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan, and the topic in hand is steam power during the Industrial Revolution. My dear students, the development of the stationary steam engine was an important element of the Industrial Revolution. However, during the early period of the Industrial Revolution, most industrial power was supplied by water and wind. Dear students, in Britain by 1800, an estimated 10,000 horsepower was being supplied by steam. By 1815, steam power had grown to 2,10,000 horse power. My dear students, the first commercially successful industrial use of steam power was due to Thomas Savory in 1698. My dear students, he constructed and patented in London a low lift combined vacuum and pressure water pump that generated about one horsepower and was used in numerous waterworks and in a few mines. Savory's pump was economical in small horsepower ranges but was prone to boiler explosions in larger sizes. Dear students, Savory pumps continued to be produced until the late 18th century. My dear students, the first successful piston engine was introduced by Thomas Newcomen before 1712. My dear students, a number of Newcomen engines were installed in Britain for draining, etc. from deep mines. My dear students, these were large machines requiring a significant amount of 5 horsepower. They were also used to power municipal water supply pumps. They were extremely inefficient by modern standards, but when located where coal was cheap at pit heads. My dear students, despite their advantages, despite their disadvantages, Newcomen engines were reliable and easy to maintain and continued to be used in the coal fields and until the early decades of the 19th century. My dear students, by 1729, when Newcomen died, his engines had spread to Hungary in 1722, Germany, Australia and Sweden. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.